A wonderful good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to our Admiral Markets webinar. Today is Wednesday, we have the 13th of November 2019, and I'm feeling really pleasured that you have time for me to talk about this really, really interesting topic. But first of all, uh, you can see I have a little bit different background today, because I'm not at home, I'm in Frankfurt. I uh, arrived at my hotel this afternoon because I came from Berlin. I had a seminar there. And now I'm here in Frankfurt to visit the fair at the weekend for World of Trading. And maybe we will see each other there. If you see me, then talk to me and give me a hint that you want to have a talk. So, and, but first of all, let's check the technique. Can you see me? Can you, have, uh, can you hear me? And do you have the slide about the topic? Okay, Vincenzo, very, very much. Audio and video is okay. So it seems everything is fine. And most important topic, yes. Ed, thank you very much, clear audio. Let me give you a little bit of advice. Uh, I have, I used the, the, uh, the Wi-Fi from the hotel. Normally it's really strong. But in webinars, sometimes can, we can have a little bit interruption. If we have someone uh, interruption, please stay in the webinar. I will um, reconnect and then we can continue. So that's uh, the 21st century here in Germany. <laughs> so and about Germany, uh, uh, let me tell you this again. I don't mind this term as well. But uh, I guess you will understand what I have to say. And if you don't understand anything, please let me know in the chat box. Give me a hint. Give me your question. And if you look this webinar, if you watch this webinar by YouTube a little bit later, and you have any questions about the special topic, type it below the video on YouTube and give me some questions, whatever you have, and we will give you answer as soon as possible. You have the benefit and you have the big advantage that you stay here in webinar in reality. So you can ask me whatever you want because it's your webinar. Um, Admiral Markins and myself, we do it for you. So first of all, thanks for uh, being here in this webinar all around the world. I can see a lot of numbers, a lot of names here this afternoon. And um, I'm really honored that you spent your lifetime with me and this is a really interesting topic and uh, maybe you're a little bit wondering why i look above because i use two screens this is my laptop there is my can and above i use the hotel screen the tv screen and there is the running the presentation so don't be uh, afraid and don't be confused well by i'm looking up once <laughs> to the other side okay Let's uh, go and let's talk about the topic we have to uh, clear and to figure out today, the most common psychology, psychologically trading mistakes. So this is a really difficult word, I swear. So, and, but before we start, uh, let's see the agenda for today. What role does our psychology uh, play in trading? This is one of the topics we want to talk about. What are the common mistakes traders make as a result of their psychologies? And what are the consequences of that mistakes? And how can you train your mind to overcome your psychological patterns? And at least examples how I mastered my trading psychology, because this is a topic we always have to do every time. We always have to uh, wrestle with this uh, topic. And uh, I guess you know the numbers around the world, how many people failed in trading. And this is not why, this is not cause the people are not smart enough. Of oh, sure not. It's only psychology, no more, no less. And we will figure out in the next round, 40 minutes, I hope so. Uh, why is this the cause? Why is this the case? And how we can, how should I say, overcome this big, big challenge? If you have any questions, type in the chat box. We can talk about everything. So, um, but first of all, let's see. This is not important. You are important. 
So that's the most important, guys. Uh, after you, of course, that's my wonderful connection. So you can see the internet connection is sometimes instable. Maybe it could be that I have to quit uh, the, the video. But um, if you have any interruptions, let me know. So my wonderful colleagues from Admiral Markets, it's a wonderful broker uh, with over 8,000 uh, financial um, instruments and it's placed in 20 countries around the world with a global support license. You can see it in FCSA, FC, FC, SISEC and ASEC. And we have competitive, sp competitive spreads, typically 0.6 um, pips for USD and 0.8 pips for the DEX 30. And uh, yes, I'm really glad that I can have this co collaboration with this wonderful, amazing broker. And of course, with the people behind the name. And I love that guys, because they work really hard for me and for you, that you become successful in trading. That is one of the reason why we use uh, this trading spotlight and why we use this trading spotlight series because uh, to talk about really interesting topic you can re you can repeat and repeat and repeat again for example this this um this topic today this common mistakes in psychology topics is a topic you can use every day and it's the same next week and over next week and next year but if you uh if you do it what i try to explain you in the next minutes, maybe you don't start it again. So um, let's see what we can do, what we talk about today. So what's the role of psychology in trading? Let's figure out what the dictionary says. So you can see it on the screen here right now. The, dictionary, the definition of the dictionary says trading psychology refers to the emotions and mental state that help to dictate success of failure in trading securities. Did you hear the right word? Securities. And this is, please note that word and realize it. This is one of the most important words because people are built in that way. We are created from our Lord in that way. We are educated in that way that we always looking for securities, safety, comfort zones, and so on. We, uh, we need to talk more about that. And uh, listen, while fear and greed are the most known uh, commonly uh, emotions associated with trading psychology, other emotions that drive behavior are hope and regret. And this is really, really interesting, hope and regret. Um, Based on that, no, the strongest emotions in trading are four of them. Fear, grief, hope, and regret. And now let's think about it a little bit more through. It's emotions. Fear is an emotion, greed, hope, regret. So all of that are emotions. What drives emotions? What drive emotions? Our psychology, psychology, our mind. An emotion is nothing what is uh, what occurs accidentally. You can control emotions, but this is coming from our minds. It's not an object. You can switch from one place to the other place. Emotions can be controlled. So let's talk about the word greed. What is greed? Basically, try to figure out and try to think about, think behind the scenes. So fear is really, is, is clear. You feel afraid, you feel uncomfortable. Um, yes, that's fear. It's not a good, it's not, basically today as a human, as, a, as an adult, it's not a good emotion. But if you go back to your childhood, it wasn't a bad thing. Because fear is, has the same status like joy, 
like um, some other emotions or the pr pride or something else, you know, but in time about education from our parents and then the school and our education and training it for a job, people put fear higher and higher and higher in our mind. It becomes so much more worth, but it's not necessary. Fear let you stick into a really teeny uh, borders. That's not really good. So you have to control it. And this is the point. So what is greed? Think about greed. Is greed, isn't greed not only an other word like fear? What does it mean if I am greedy? To be honest, I want more, always more, or I don't want to lose the more. So look behind the scenes, then it's fear. Greed is just only another word for fear. What's about hope? Hope is always the same. We hope that we reach some goals. We hope that we can make winners. We hope that we can have more profits. But hope is always the fear or I'm afraid to lose. Or in other words, I'm afraid to reach nothing. It's just only hope. You can do nothing with hope. Just hope is like a green grass for it or that. And regret. What does we regret? We never regret. If we, once we have to go from this planet Earth and we have to look back, seldom, really seldom, we regret what we have done. In most of the cases, we regret what we haven't done. If you would think it through, it's another word for fear. So you see, every four words, fear, greed, hope and regret, are really in common with the one and only word, it's fear. But that's the good news here. It's an emotion. It's not a thing like a phone or like, uh, he, uh, uh, like something else, sunglasses or whatever. It's an emotion. And emotions are driving from our minds. It's always that way. It's always from a mind outside from our mind and never back. So we can control it. And this is the good news here in this, uh, in this point. So, uh, yes, of course, our mind often plays tricks on us. That's really true. But if you learn to control it, then you can reach everything in your life, not only in trading, in life as well. So let's go to the next slide. Real and long-term trading, especially trading, and doesn't matter if you are a day trader or a swing trader, is based on 90% psychology and only 10%, oops, sorry, and only 10% and only 10% on strategy. So you know there are there are existing a lot of strategies outside there. You can trade whatever you want. Maybe you, even you can trade about the sun and the moon or about whatever, mood, something else. You can trade about broken trends. You can trade based on um, moving averages, on uh, Ichimoku or something else. So to, to find a strategy which, fill, which, uh, which fits to you is not a big deal because too many profitable strategies are outside there in the maybe, uh, how should I say, limitless universe of trading. And of course, trading at itself is really simple at itself. To find the tradable markets, you find your, sorry, the expressions of your, uh, find your tradable, tradable markets and time frame. 
So maybe you're a part-time trader because you have a normal job to earn your money every month. Then it makes no sense to make uh, trades in one minute job. So it's too stressful on five minute job. So maybe you are in, uh, you know, maybe you are in pension for a course and uh, you have done your job and you can uh, be a day trader, of course. And it's okay, you are a day trader and make trades in one minute job or five minutes, 50 minutes. Of course, but this is another topic. You have to mix it with uh, divergence, as you know, small, uh, short time, long time trading. So find your daily routine for trading with a strategy which fits, which, uh, which fits to you. What does, um, what does it mean with a, say, daily routine? And it's, it's a role, it's the psychology behind that. Don't forget that. Daily routine is really, really important, especially in trading. And you, you can compare it with your normal life. So if you do always the same in your life, maybe in your job or at home or in your sports or something else, you can train it and train it. You're getting better and better and better. At the end, you're a master. So therefore, some, some, uh, some teams are um, Champions, Champions League uh, winners or something else, or maybe really good guys, they train a lot and they control their thoughts and the psychology behind that. They're getting the Olympia uh, winners and our world championships, something else. But everything is based on daily routine. And uh, my experience with a lot of coaches, uh, with a lot of coachings, with my clients and with me, I still say I used to do it in my life to have daily routines. Let's make a simple example. You get up in the morning, you go to bed, you brush your teeth, and you take your coffee, and you wear on your clothes, and you take the key of your car. Maybe you go outside to drive to car, to drive to job. You make your job, and in the evening you come back, and um, you used to go to the same store every week. You uh, you take the same gas from the last gas uh, from the from the uh, always the same gas station for your for your car or something else. So you used to do that, but then you come to trading and you think there is completely different. I don't you I don't have to use that in the same way. And this is the fault. This is the big big really really big mistake. In trading, it must work in the same way. Find your strategy and then do always the same and the same and the same. Because you need to be a master. You need to become a master. You need to become a routine every day that you're feeling more comfortable and safe. Because only if you feel comfortable and safe you can focus on other things, on add things, additional things for trading, maybe another indicator or something else. But without a daily routine that your mind is realizing, oh, okay, therefore that way it's working right now. Okay, let's do it in my system number two. It's the subconsciousness. And you don't have to think about that. How you open the broker platform, how you uh, draw the trend for course, how should I uh, set the Fibonacci lines, uh, how can I read the 200 moving average line, something else, daily routine. This is really, really interesting and really important. So maybe you're a part-time trader and you work in hourly chart or in four hourly chart. So that's not really stressful, but you need your daily routine. I don't know what kind of job do you have. Maybe you have a little bit of time in the morning or in the, in the noon or in the afternoon or in the, or in the evening. Take your clear time. Take your special time to do always the same. And the, the same is, uh, the same is uh, valid for different strategies. It makes no sense to switch the strategies always and always and always because you cannot set Autumn, order, uh, autumn, order, autumnism in your in your mind in subconsciousness, and this is the um, one of the most important things. So, 
And while you're doing that, finding out your strategy, finding out your daily routine, or maybe your weekly routine. I don't know what, if you're a swing trader, daily routine or weekly routine, you will figure out the importance of psychology. And you will figure it out. And maybe I'm, I'm almost sure you know that. I'm almost sure you know that what means psychology. So let's make a, let's make a simple, uh, a simple uh, example. So maybe you have an open trade and the price is going against you and the price is coming closer and closer and closer to your stop. And therefore you can feel the overwhelming feelings and then your mind is crazy, going crazy and there is a voice in, in your mind is barking to you, it's crying, go out, go out, go out, go out, save your money, save your money. And you know that if you go out and if you quit or if you cut the trade before it reached your stops, you prepare before you stop the trade, of course, then the market is bouncing and it's running into your direction. What's the next feeling? Anger. Mm, Jesus Christ. Yes, this is psychology. This is psychology. So, and you know that. I guess you know that and you figure it out already. But on that way, to find your own strategy and time frame, what fits to you, or what is fit, what is what is real shape for you, and to find a real strategy if you are a trend follower. If you are, uh, um, uh, how should I say, counter trader against the trend, to catch the house, or your breakout trader, or being average trader, but on that way, you will figure out very, very fast that everything or that the importance of psychology. And I'm, I'm absolutely sure you know that experience. To go out of a trend, the market rebounds and is running in your, in your direction you wanted to go about your analysis or something else. So this is the point why you will figure out very, very quick the importance of psychology. Therefore, it is really important that you get beyond the hard part. So what is the hard part in trading? In, so compare it with a normal business in a company. In any business, analysis of the company's performance to drive further growth is paramount. It's absolutely crucial. If a company wants to grow up, it has to analyze analysis the, uh, the way they are coming from, the numbers, what happened in the past, what did we figure out, then they have to make analysis to grow up, to make it better in the future. This is in normal business very crucial. Basically, trading is not different because the only problem is you, do ha you have to decide when it's time to tweak your model or your strategy versus when results are just noise from the market. Hmm, let's repeat this sentence because this is a crucial point. Trading basically is not different. You have to analysis your equity curve, for example. What trades did you make? Uh, what strategy did you use in the past? Then you have your numbers, you have your winners, you have your profit, you have your losses and so on. So this is the same like a normal company has to do if they want to grow up in the, in the future. Basic, trade, basic uh, trading is no different. So where's the big difference between a company and your trading? Hmm. A company, if they made analysis, they can switch the marketing strategy, but they will never switch the product. So Apple, an Apple for example, Apple would, will never buy or will never build in the future maybe cars or maybe buildings or maybe uh, 
uh, drinks or food or something else. That's, it's really impossible that they do that. But maybe they will figure out that something else didn't work in the past. So they made analysis and find a point to switch a strategy. But a company will never change the product or, 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 or sort of found another one, another product. So this is the big difference between that. In trading, basically it's the same. You have to make analysis to figure out what is happening, what's happened in the past. Why do you have too many losers? Why do you have so less winners? Or why it's equal or something else? But in trading, there's one big, 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 big difference. What is, what is it? Trading is based on probabilities. So therefore you have to decide when it's time or if it basically necessary that you have to tweak your strategy or your model or are the current losers maybe just based on the noise from the market. So maybe in our trading community, you know, trading spotlight community, we have a really huge winners in the past few weeks. But in this week or in last week, we have, I guess, around three, two or three losers right now, 60 pips, 100 pips, around about that. And now I guess we have a, a third or a fourth loser in a row right now. But it's a question of the big number. Therefore, we don't have to switch or to tweak our strategy because it's just only noise of the market. Because we use the nature of trading and the nature of trading you never have to switch or to change. But basically, if you use an other strategy, maybe you uh, are a breakout trader and there are no more breakouts right now because you have a trend or something else or you have a range in that way. Then you have to figure it out what happens and then to tweak, uh, to tweak the model maybe from breakouts or from range trading back to trend following system that you have to do. This is a kind of psychology that you are able to tweak your model when, it is, when it's necessary. But you have to decide why do you have to tweak your model? Uh, doesn't it work anymore? Or are the losers a kind or a question of the noise from the market? This is a, that's, that you have to figure out first. The market always is random. And this is the most crucial point in trading and why it makes so difficult to be successful in trading, guys. This is the point why it is so damned difficult. Cause in life or in your job, you have almost guarantees. You have almost securities. But in trading, we don't have any guarantees. Not at all. We only have securities. The only thing where you can feel comfortable is if you manage your risk. But basically, and of course, the market is random. And let's make an example. So let's say out your first six trades only, you make six trades and only one trade works, only one. So we have five losers and one winner. A seasoned trader, a really experienced trader will know that it's a matter of placing large enough sample set of trades for things to net out. An experienced and seasoned trader knows the law of big numbers. If he made sure that he uses a strategy with a profitable hit quote or with a profitable system and probabilities like trend following, trend following have a probability system of almost 70%. That's okay. Absolute decay. So imagine you have 10 balls in a can or in a bottle, of course, and you mix it. And now it accidentally you take one ball out and it's a black one. 
and you know, 10 balls into the can or in this bottle. Three of them are black and the other ones are white. So you know, there must be, there must be, um, there must be seven white balls in it. So now, of course, you take one out and it is white. You take the next one out, it's white. The third one is white. The fourth one is white. The fifth one is white. Would you stop now? Would you stop now? If you know about your experience and about your tests, okay, 10 balls in it, three of them are black and seven are white. Would you stop at the fifth one? No, of course not, because you know there must become a black one. Latest, seven one. So this is the point in trading, and this is the law of big numbers. So if you have a positive strategy, and if you have, uh, how should I say, uh, if you have a strategy which is proven by statistic, like trend following, you know the turtle traders proved it already with almost 70 to 80% of probabilities, makes no sense to stop with it if you have one, two, three, four, five or six losers in a row. Because the law of the big numbers no, she will show you and the law of the big numbers is a guarantee that the next winner must come. It must, there is no option. So this is a question of psychology that you are willing to do that in that way because it's just only a law of big numbers trading because it's based on probabilities. So a junior trader or how should I say, an unexperienced trader, I have to be aware of the time, uh, the junior trader or the trader stuck in analysis paralysis, <coughs> paralysis will without any doubt change the system before it had time to bloom. And this is the point. A junior trader will stop after four losers because he was trained by his parents and education and his job. If something doesn't work, change it. Maybe change the receipt, the receipt or change the working style and you will figure out, okay, this is the right way. So it works in our life, but not in trading. That's the law of the big numbers. <clears throat> Only if you figure out you have a positive strategy. Never stop. And therefore, this is one of the reasons why so many guys lose always and always and always in trading. Because they will, they will never let the market get in bloom. Because they stop before, after they had one or two or three or four losers. Of course, if you cannot control your risk, money is going out, the money is gone. Money is done, you have no money anymore to let the market work for you. So maybe you make a note in your notebook as uh, right now, type it down, the law of big numbers. Especially in trading, if you have a positive strategy, if you have a proven statistical sorry, statistical system, statistic system, never give up, never give up. Even you have one, two, even a three, four, five losers in a row, never give up after every no of the market. Next, yes, will come. And I would say must come. It's the question of the universe. It's the question of the law of the big numbers. And of course, in universe, if you're kind to another person, it will come back. Maybe not directly, but you plant a seed and this seed will break out sometime. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but that's the law of the universe. If you give a like, you will, let, you will get a like back, always. That's the justice of our universe. In trading, it's the law of the big numbers. After every no, 
the next yes must come in trading. Understanding that the market is random is probably the key tenet of becoming profitable. And as the faster, the faster you accept this inevitable thing, the faster you become successful. Because then you let the market do whatever he has to do, whatever it has to do. You let the market decide how much money you will get. As long as you know you have a positive strategy, and if you are a trend follower like me in swing trading, maybe four hourly chart, you know you can make money with one trade with three, four, five, six hundred pips. That's okay. So you can risk one, two, three, four trades with 100 pips in risk, or maybe 60 pips, it's not a problem. But you have to accept this inevitable thing that the market is random. And this is the key tenet to becoming profitable. So the only reason the market was responds to my analysis is based on whether or not the other active traders who can influence the movement of my stock are on the same page as I am. And don't forget, we made uh, a webinar by the book map, by the order book. So remember, it only takes one person somewhere on this planet Earth to decide that a stock should go higher or lower. It's just only one order needed. One pip is needed that a market break out, breaks out or falling down. Only one is needed. So it only takes one trader with enough capital to completely invalidate your analysis. Never forget that we are not alone in the market. We are surrounded by millions. And it's just only one order needed that it will destroy your own analysis. Never forget that. So it's always the best situation, the best thing to follow the smart money, follow the big Titanic. It's always the better than to paddle with your boat across the Titanic in front of them. That's not really, that's not the point. So the one thing, and that's a really big problem today, the one thing the internet provides as a plethora of market analysis and opinions, almost limitless. There are literally hundreds of sites, I would say thousands of sites, that will tell you what the market is going to do next. So 500 people say it goes long, it goes long. another 500, no, it goes short. So what you have to do now, everyone's system, guys, is different. And remember, we never know. We can never know what the market is going to do next. Therefore, and if you look behind the scenes, guys, it means control your thoughts. Because your thoughts are responsible for your own reality. Focus on your own trading strategy. Never hear, never hear, and never follow stranger people you never know. Figure out what they do, figure out the strategy, then make your own tests if it fits to you and, it, and if it works for you. That's the point. You should not believe me. Prove it. Do it. Prove it by yourself. I can say whatever I want. I say trade follow, trend following is one of the easiest systems based maybe on prices. But it's your job to prove it for yourself, to come comfortable for yourself. And then maybe you can do the same. But if you say, Marcus is telling bullshit, okay, find your own one. Find your own one. I wish you all the best. I wish you all money of the planet. Really, I wish it from the bottom of my heart. But don't waste time with hunting the Holy Grail.
that doesn't exist the whole equation because the market is random and it's based on probabilities no more no less and then another issue is dealing with the noise in the market so once you shut out all the noise your equity curve will never look back the reason for this is because you can interpret the market for yourself and no longer rely on other poor people to solve your problem. I cannot solve your problem. You must, problem, you must solve your problems by yourself. And funnily enough, this is the same reason you become successful in trading, only if you go your own way. Maybe you can copy a little bit success, the way to success. That is possible, but the, at the end, you have to find your own way. So the consequences of these mistakes are more loss than profit. Overwhelming mind, exhausting mind, stress with your family and friends, losing your freedom and inner center, and wasting your life. As long as you don't accept the inevitable thing that the market is random, and you have to control your thoughts and your emotions, you will never become successful. Never. This is a promise. And this, guys, this is the only guarantee I can give you. I can give you for trading. The only guarantee. You will never become successful if you cannot control your thoughts and if you not work on these mistakes. Because this is everything, everything is psychology, not strategy. Too much strategies and a lot of strategies are really successful, but less people are getting successful because less people want to extend the comfort zone and to change the mindset. So be aware of that. And then you have a really, really big chance to become successful mindset now focus from money to consistent trades i give advice to all my clients uh, switch or cut the numbers of money on your broker platform maybe a meta trader blend it out cut it only chart maybe you can switch it to pips or to percent but switch your focus from money to consistent trades this is so much important and helpful if you only see your pips or your percent, but never money. Because if you see the money, the dollars or the euros, you always think, oh my God, what, what could I buy with that money right now? Or what couldn't I buy now with that loss? It makes you crazy. Switch it to, from money to pips or percent, and then focus on strategy. Focus on consistent trades. Stop worrying start living guys tra trading is not the most important thing in your life of course not your friends your family your kids your wife your girlfriend whatever you have in your surrounding everything is more important than trading and don't regret what you did in the past it's over it's that there are two days you cannot live in your life that's the death yesterday in the unborn tomorrow try to live in daytime compartments in 24 hours, you have 24 hours to make and create the best version of yourself as a trader. And therefore, find your real why in your life. Because money is just a means to an end. No more, no less. And if your, if your why is strong enough, you always will find a way for the how find your real why and find your big five for life. What's the big five? The most important five things in your life that you want to achieve. About this topic, we create a new webinar because this is so much more important, the big five for your life. You will never regret, regret if you have to go and if you look back. So this is the point. Find your real why in trading. Find your big five for life. What do you want to achieve in your life? And in that way, you become a successful trader, I promise you. And on that way, I promise you, you will figure out 
how you can control your thoughts. So this is the way I did it. After I made all the mistakes we talked about, I stepped away from trading a couple of months to find myself again because I lost myself. I lost my inner center, I lost my freedom, I lost my money, I lost my family, I lost everything. And I started to ask myself other questions and they accept that I could not become rich with a small account because I had never had a big, big, huge amount. My focus switched to education, like in a normal job as well. And I started a journey to find myself and to figure out the purpose of my existence. And the purpose of my existence is to help you. This is my purpose of my existence. This is my strong why. Because I know the numbers of traders that fail around the world. And this is my purpose, why I am on this planet. I found it already. And it's my purpose of existence to help you, if you want that I can help you and at Mirror Markets as well. Find your own purpose of existence. And then you can figure out about everything about psychology. So let's make a short conclusion. And I know my wonderful colleagues, uh, colleagues said only three minutes. Yes, no, please give me just two minutes, please. So the strongest emotions in trading of fear, greed, hope, and regret. And as we figured out, everything is about fear. Everything. A really long-term success is trading on base 90% psychology and 10% strategy. And a seasoned trader knows the, the law of the big numbers. And it only takes one trade with enough capital to completely invalidate your analysis. And the most important topic, guys, find your real why. Because money is just a means to an end. Money will never make you happy. Never. But the things you can make with money, that can make you happy. You have to change the why and you have to figure out your why. So if you want to hear more about that, if you want to follow Jens, Paul or me, join our exclusive trading spotlight community on tradersyard.com. And my wonderful colleague, sorry, and my wonderful I'm confusing you right now with my with my uh, here things. So and um, yes, here we go. Next one. So this is from Paul on Friday. How to learn create a checklist for your trading? Why it's important? Different types and how you can use them. Guys, I'm really happy that you was a part of this webinar. I hope you learned a little bit about that. It's a huge topic of psychology. And I would grab a little bit on the surface right now. But this is the message. Find your real why. Find your real why and the purpose of your existence, guys. And then you have a really, really huge chance to become successful in trading. And if you want to have more information, visit our homepage on Admiral Markets. I'm glad and grateful. And I'm happy that you spent your last 45, 50 minutes with me. And I hope you learned a little bit and you can use it for your own life. Otherwise, we will see each other next week. Thank you very much. Take care and be careful about your thoughts because they are the beginning of your actions. See you. Bye-bye.